friends. Sometimes you do it this way too. <laughs> We're both super awkward, so it's perfect. <laughs>so we're both originally from the same area, but we didn't know it, and nor did our paths ever collide before. We initially decided to go get some coffee just to get to know each other a bit more as teammates, and she gave me her um, area code, and <laughs> I said, hold up. <laughs> no one has that area code. <laughs> and we had the same area code, and we're from the same area, about 30 minutes from yeah. each other. Yep. And um, we both have lived there for our whole lives. And we and never, never knew it. never against each other <laughs> no. or anything. What is your favorite part about California? I think my favorite part about California is that the area I grew up in, specifically, I could get to the mountains in 45 minutes mm -hmm. and snowboard, Big but best. I could also get to the ocean in 45 minutes, like for surfing. So I had kind of best of both worlds with that. And as growing up, my family was active. We played a lot of sports. So um, just having that access to stuff is amazing, I think, yeah. for me. For sure. What about you? Oh, <laughs> well, I'm a little more inland. Yeah. I think it's just that it is, it is home. Oh, like yeah. it's where we all grew up. I'm one of five brothers and sisters and it's just like still in the same house that we all grew up in. And I think it's just like going home and feeling that like same smells when you walk through the house and yeah. um, just being able to relate to all those memories. I'm just gonna piggyback off that really quick. Um, tell me your story about how you and O met. I met him when I was 14 in high school. He sent a friend over to come tell me that he thought my eyes were very pretty. <laughs> Who knows if that was actually true, because I think his friend was kind of playing a joke. <laughs> but with on your mascara on right on now, him. you're nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so like so excited. I was like, thank you, like so caught off guard that someone would ever say that. And. <laughs> I said, tell him I said thank you. <laughs> and he ran back over, talked to him, and then next thing I know, we started hanging out a little bit more, just as friends playing soccer, because he played on the boys' soccer team, as yeah. you know. I played on the girls' soccer team, so we were hanging out a ton. We'd scrimmage against each other with my friends and his friends, put two shoes up as goals, that's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> and um, playing like 5v5, and then sure enough, on um, April Fool's, <laughs> I don't even know what year, he asked me out, and I'll never forget because I went to Curves with my mom that day. <laughs> mom, I have to tell you something. Um, this boy asked me out, and it's like on April Fool's Day. Like he's definitely gonna call later and be like, "Just kidding!" I was gonna or say, he's gonna send a friend that said my eyes were cute. So, <laughs> turns out we're still together today. Yeah. And it's been like what? I was 14. 14. I'm 29. 15 years. Yeah. And we've been married for six now. And it's just nice to like be able to have like a friend, but also a husband. Like we're very good friends, but we're also very much so in love. And I feel like um, having that is so much fun because I can have fun with them as a friend. And obviously, I'm in love with them. We can go on dates and all that kind of stuff. So it's fun to have those two things in the relationship, and I very much so value it. What's your favorite? Oh, you scared me! And there's our Ozzy. <laughs> She's an animal. We don't know her. <laughs> Not only was I lucky enough to play with you here, yeah. I also got to play with you in Australia with Melbourne City. What do you love about Australia? What keeps um, you going back there during the rain and WSL yeah. off season? I never looked to play overseas. Like soccer is not was never my number one passion to be honest. And I think people that know me know that um, that I have a lot of other passions aside from that because there's Thank so much more than just being on the field, you know, and I think that's For what sure. I love about Ozzy is that the lifestyle that they live is what brings me back, mm -hmm. I think. They've just got a good grip on life over there. It's kind of um, play first, kind of work later kind of attitude, so it's a little bit slower and um, they really like try to enjoy life. They've got a big like culture and food and coffee, very similar to Seattle actually. Mm -hmm. Well, you talk about your passions and you said that you have a lot of other passions and I know First hand that cooking is one of them. You love to cook, you're so good at it, you're prepper it doesn't bother you to cook and then clean. You do it for a lot of people, you do it for yourself, like it's definitely a passion of yours. Why? I just enjoy being in the kitchen. It's like um you know, a sacred place for me, you know, kind of let soccer go, um, things like that and get to cook for my friends and I think it brings people together and that's why I like cooking. Yeah. 
um, personally. And just a lot of love, I think, within food, to be honest. Totally. I've been a vegan for three years now, and it's taken me probably three years, and I'm still working on getting it, like, right. There's still times where, you know, I forget to prepare, and then I either, like, don't eat or I have to start eating things I don't really necessarily want to eat. So I think... Um, that's a big part of why I like doing that as well. I've done it definitely for like the environment and for the animals and you know Bev and OT used to make fun of me all the time if I saw like a dog across the street I would literally have to go pet it. Now they have a puppy and I feel like they finally feel like what I've been feeling forever <laughs> <laughs> because they've totally turned into those dog like yeah. is your baby That's it's your right. human yeah. baby now and so yeah tell me about your experience with avocado your new puppy she is a blue nose pit bull she is so big <laughs> yeah. I thought she was low in age medium. big and weak yeah. <laughs> Thought she was going to be a medium. Turns out as she's growing, she's going to be large, which is fine. I love her either way. <laughs> and um, the love, it's like, oh, I like absolutely adore her. Yeah. Like, I love going home after practice and, um, you know, getting through the front door and the tail's like, <laughs> yeah. And it's just like an unconditional type of love. Yeah. She yeah. lays on her back, sleeps on her back, has a big old overbite. Yeah. Right now, currently has two, two adult, adult teeth, teeth. <laughs> and baby teeth here. So she's kind of a little butt yeah. tooth right here, um, which makes her even cuter. I feel like actually Evoke is a place you bring her in the coffee shop that we're at right now. Um, they've got another dog here that yeah, Pablo. Avocado loves playing with, and they're about, this dog here is about yeah. six times the size of Avocado. Six <laughs> and she literally just yeah, owns she it. she loves it. Yeah. The rest is history. It really is. Now we're family. Five years, six years. Our families are family, we're family. as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm OT and girl form. <laughs> Soccer wife.